Hi everyone, this is the true story of Pardo the Injured Ocelot. We visited the Alturas Wildlife Sanctuary in Costa Rica and spoke to Sandy, their vet on duty. Sandy told us all about Pardo. Ocelots are beautiful, medium-sized wildcats found in Central America and they have stunning markings like leopards. This is Pardo's story. On the 13th of April 2022 at 9.30pm, Alturas Rescue were called out to a young ocelot which was found on the road in an empty rice sack. The sack had been struck by a vehicle. The young ocelot inside was barely alive, but he was picked up and rushed to the emergency section of the Wildlife Center Hospital. The veterinary team immediately got to work and found that he had severe brain injuries from the accident. He was given emergency treatment to stabilize him and then moved to the ICU unit. The team thought he was about six months old and were very worried about whether he would survive and would be able to function normally as he was so badly injured. Staff took turns looking after the little ocelot in the intensive care for the next few weeks. They decided to call him Pardo, after the Latin name for ocelots, which is Leopardus pardalis. At last, the vet team thought Pardo was strong enough to go outside. Lots of tests were performed before he was put into the enclosure to screen for any diseases that he might be carrying. They couldn't risk him infecting any of the other animals that were being rehabilitated. Ocelots get similar diseases to cats and dogs and they can also get COVID. Pardo was then microchipped so he could be monitored if he was ever found again or if he needed to be identified. Pardo was doing very well and everyone was so excited. He looked like he was going to make it. But could he survive in the wild? Would he be safe? Everyone was worried after his severe brain injuries. So Pardo then began his long rehabilitation process. Initially, he stayed at Altura Sanctuary in a special enclosure away from people. He was fed and given space to develop and build up his muscles and strength. During this time, he was watched carefully and the team stayed out of sight as much as they could so that he would not be get used to seeing people. Everyone was hoping Pardo would be okay. As he got stronger, the team started training him to hunt and watched carefully to see if he would be able to manage in the wild. They were very careful not to use any white prey as he could have then confused wild animals or fowl with domestic chickens or animals and they didn't want him to be attacking people's livestock and he needed to know what color normal prey should be. To everyone's relief, Pardo was doing well. The time was coming to consider releasing him. The staff always find it difficult to find a safe place to release the animals and especially as little is known about how far ocelots wander or what their territory might be. The team requested a GPS collar for Pardo and a kind person donated money towards funding for a special Telonix GPS collar. This would allow tracking and monitoring of Pardo for up to six months. The staff would be able to monitor where he went and if he was safe. Unfortunately, there was just one problem. Pardo wasn't used to a very heavy GPS collar. So it was decided that Pardo would have a light dog collar put on first and then exchange it for the GPS collar later when he had adapted to the light collar. He was anaesthetized and the light dog collar was placed on him. He was monitored carefully, but he seemed to be getting used to his collar fairly quickly. He was doing well. Once the vets were sure Pardo was coping with the collar, they replaced it with the GPS collar and gave him his last clinical checkup under general anaesthetic. Pardo would soon be ready to move to his feline rehabilitation enclosure in a jungle. But which jungle would be safe and had the space to accommodate him? It was decided that the safest place for Pardo to be released would be the large Osa Conservation Area in the southwest. Altura's wildlife liaised with Osa Conservation and luckily they agreed to take Pardo. The Osa Conservation Area would be a safe area away from cars, poachers and dogs. It is also very large and covers about 700 square miles. Pardo was taken to his new home and although Sandy and her team were very sad to see Pardo go, they were happy that he had a chance to be free. Pardo was released in his new home. 
Pardew is doing very well and he has moved over 100 kilometers from his initial release site. He has moved much further than was originally thought for an ocelot and has given us a new insight into the behavior of these beautiful animals. Osa Conservation also have camera tracking footage to monitor the animals. The team are so happy to have saved Pardo's life and they hope that he will provide lots of information via his collar to help other ocelots. We are sure Pardo is pleased to be free in the wild too. If you would like to help the Altrilos Wildlife Sanctuary Charity, please click on this link below. They really appreciate any money and any financial or other support. Thank you for listening.